We're gonna cut hair today. It's gonna be wild and amazing. What? Cut my own hair? That's crazy talk. So number one, don't worry. Be happy. Number two, get your scissors out. Number three, follow me down the rabbit hole of hair cutting. Let's go. haircut and I would immediately start fixing whatever they did like wash out all the product and and start snipping I did give myself some pretty terrible haircuts I've been using these same scissors for probably over 20 years okay I may have stolen them from my mother what you're seeing now this hair has been growing since March since we all started hunkering down and I just thought I would see the passage of time it's kind of fun to see it growing for a while now I've been buzzing it hi everybody that was back in March um, so now it's May and I thought since it's getting to be out of control that this would be the perfect time to show others how I cut my hair Note to all the professionals out there, I have some friends who cut hair for a living. You might not want to watch this video. This might be painful. <laughs> but for everyone else, this is how I do it. And if you don't have hair, short hair like me, that's cool. I've cut some long hair, I've cut my mother's hair, I've cut some friends' hair. So yeah, that's pretty much my story. First step, get your scissors out. Awesome. The basic principle, the most important thing about cutting your hair is you want to cut toward your head. Your head is my palm, your hair is my fingers sticking up away from your head. You don't want to make a line like this. You want to cut toward your head and that, that's the big secret. So I'm going to show you on my hair now what I'm going to do. So I'm not planning on taking it all off again. I'm sort of enjoying it being longer for now until I get bored and buzz it all off again. But for now I'm going to leave it a little long. But I am going to take off just kind of like the ends. So you want to have one hand, the scissor hand. The other hand is like the guide. The guide hand. It's very important. The guide hand. Usually, I just grab a clump of hair, okay? I'm just gonna grab a clump of hair up here. So what I mean by cutting toward the head, I'm actually going to be cutting toward my hand, my guide hand that's holding the hair. And you see how <laughs> it does take a, a bit of dexterity. I actually turn turn my guide hand, my hand, so that the back of my hand is against my head and the palm of my hand is up so that with my thumb I can kind of feel how much hair I have, right, in my hand. I can feel, and I have my hand planted against my head, but I could always bring it out more if I don't want too much hair. But for now, what I'm going to do is take a clump and what you don't want to do is to go along like that, okay? That's parallel with my head. That's a no-no. You don't want to go parallel with the head. You want to go toward the head without 
snipping yourself. All right, so it does take a little bit of practice. First snip, here it comes. So, deep breath. Seriously, don't worry, just play and have fun. Actually, watch me do it for the next 10 minutes. Then build up the courage and then do it yourself. So, grab a little chunk, got my guide hand working, and I am going to go toward my head. Snippy, snippy. So, there you go. Some hair came off. Okay? Then I'm going to go to a different part of my head. I'm going to snippy, snippy toward my head. So what happens is, when you go toward your head rather than along it, you are keeping some hairs long and some hairs will be a little bit shorter wherever you're snipping because when you're snipping this way, you're not going to get all the hairs. When you go this way, that's when you get all the hairs and then it's all this uniform but then lumpy. So. This is kind of like a way that you layer hair. If you have longer hair, you can layer hair this way. So I'm gonna keep going, snippy snippy. I tend to do one area at a time. Now the sides, you can actually still grab. See how much is sticking out there? Just do these little tiny snips. Notice I'm not worrying about like seeing what I'm doing actually in the mirror at all. It's all about feeling it with with your hand and then using the scissors. This part though, wow, it's really gotten long. <laughs> I could just brush it over my ear, keep it warm in the winter. <laughs> I'm just gonna fold my ear down and get it out of the way because you don't want to cut your ear. do at the hair salon where it's all fancy is they'll brush. I don't normally even use a brush. I don't wet my hair. I don't do all the things that you're supposed to do when you get your hair cut. But I'm going to brush and use the little comb for you. Alright, so brush it forward and then you cut at a diagonal that way from the bottom of your little sideburn. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Get a little cut action. Boom! And then, you go this way with the hair. Comb time. Ding! All right, then from here, now you're gonna cut up beside that precious little ear, so be careful, okay? You're gonna cut. Now, these I used to call my wings, and I don't know if I wanna cut my whole wing, okay? So, I'm just going to kinda leave 
some of that. All right, so you want to just cut along there. Snippy, snippy. At this point, seriously, I feel like just buzzing it off. <laughs> that also I highly recommend. Talk about just getting up and it's, and your hair is like constantly perfect. It's worth it, ladies and men and non-binaries. It's worth it. Buzz your head. So, this is still too long. This is not perfect. This is looking a little lumpy here. So I'm gonna keep taking it down. done like half the back of my head I think. I think I did this side. So this side you can tell the difference there. So I'm going to continue on with this side of my head. Here we go. I've always been a little relaxed about my hair because of that attitude of it'll grow back. On my wedding day, like an hour before the ceremony, I was in the bathroom at my parents' house cutting my hair. You know? If you see something out of place that you want to snip, you might as well snip it. and cut your own hair, I think it's worthwhile. Now, in my experience, as I've cut curly hair, I don't have curly hair, I have aging gray and white and brown. But I have cut curly hair, back to my original thought, and I think curly hair is kind of easy and more forgiving even than straight hair because it just is on its own little spring and it'll, boing, you know, take on a shape. Where's mine? It's looking a little bit okay, but slightly not perfect. I do have the calyx. Ooh, I got some hair sticking out. <laughs> what do you want to bet that I just get out the clippers and buzz it after this? Sometimes I just dive bomb in without even holding it. Why not? I only live once. Alright. There you go. Boom. I do need to take the front down just a little bit. Maybe it's a little too majestic. Maybe it's thinking a little too highly of itself. And a little bit here too. See that swirl? That is just. I used to hate my calyx. I even think I. I even think I complained enough to my mother that I hated my calyx. And she looked into some kind of shampoo or I don't even know what, like a treatment that would get rid of calyx. 
but I'm really glad that I didn't because so much hair on me. Uh, my hair just kind of naturally sticks up because of the calyx, so I'm happy now. Ooh, right here. Not loving this. Whatever's happening. Alright, so, so far this is what we got. Alright, that's not looking bad. Yeah, that's it. Looks pretty fine. Buzz. But, it's not what we're doing today. We're not buzzing my head. So, we just have to deal with whatever's going on here. I know that I've been saying don't go with the head, go toward the head. But right now, I'm going to break my own rule and I'm going to make this a little shorter. Almost like I am buzzing the sides. Yep, I'm doing it. I don't even care. Get creative. Have fun. Hair while it's an expression of ourselves. It's not the most important thing in the world. The important thing is that you're having a good time. Now I feel like Bob Ross. Happy little hair. <laughs> There's happy little hair on your head. And I think you're gonna feel good about cutting it yourself. You'll be like, see what I did? Ooh, I have another story for you. Fun fact. The morning of my black belt test, I was cutting my hair, I was buzzing my hair, and I did a buzz like right here, and I looked down and I see the guard in the sink. I had taken out a chunk right here. Luckily not like right in the front, but right past the front, right behind the front. and. It didn't go down to my scalp, which would have looked pretty ridiculous. I was already buzzing my hair pretty short, so it was even lower. Maybe the moral of the story is don't go cutting your hair before an event where there's going to be photos taken. So when I give myself a haircut, it's never really over. I tend to see things that need snipped. All right, I'm gonna call this done. It's certainly not perfect. There will be snipping happening later, but for now, what do you think? Hmm? Not bad. A little shorter, maybe, than I would have wanted on top. I didn't mean to go this short, but I just kind of kept snipping. But you know what? It's fine. Or maybe I'll buzz it tonight. Who knows? I gotta see the whole thing. I'm already into phase two haircut after the haircut. Sometimes I cut the sides, but I'll leave the middle a little longer, like some professional soccer players do. <laughs> You're learning all my secrets today. It's alive! Here's my hairball. Alright, shower time. And then maybe I'll show you what it looks like after that. Alright, this is what it has come down to. Oh yeah. Some of this needs to go down. Not on my watch, little hair. Hope you had fun. I'll see you in two months. Bye. It's buzz time. So yeah, I've been playing with my hair, I've been making little snips here and there, and now I've decided I'm just gonna buzz it off. So, watch and learn. Ding ding! So you have different lengths. This is size four. This one's size three. So you can see the difference there. Four gives you more hair. Three, snippy snippy. We're gonna go with three. We're gonna do it short. These say Pro Pet. Pet clippers. <laughs> they work. I've been using them. They're also very old. The first time I buzzed my head, actually, my husband buzzed my head when we were dating. We had been dating a few months and I mentioned how I always wanted to have my head buzzed. 
And he's like, well, let's do it. And it was New Year's Eve and we were in New Mexico. It's like, okay, get the clippers out. Let's just buzz your head. And it looked really cool. Anyway, if you want to, you know, YOLO, you only live once. Or as I like to say, my new little hair slogan is YOM. You'll always have more hair. Yum. Take it from me. Play with your hair. Have fun. It's your head. So I'm going to do the sides and the back first, which is probably in hindsight how I should have cut my hair, did the sides and the back first. But what happened when I cut it was I went straight for the top. <laughs> and then it became a bit shorter than I wanted it to. But yum. Yum. Alright, enough of that. It's buzz time. It also helps to go in like different directions because your hair is sort of like growing in different directions and slanting in different directions. So you wanna make sure you get it all. So right now, it's getting there. I remember growing up, Sinead O'Connor, it was like, she was the first celebrity to, you know, have a buzzed head, celebrity woman um, to have a buzzed head. And everyone's like, whoa, scandalous. And I was like, ooh, that's kinda cool. Little did I know, here we are, many moons later. person who comes up to me and says, oh, I love your hair. I wish I could do that. There's just as many people thinking, oh, look at that terrible haircut. But you know what? It's your hair. Do what you want with it. And yum. Yum.